East. Severe MMA here at Bama 23, Night of Champions, and we have our first champion crown tonight, Stuart He-Man Austin. You know, a, a fantastic performance against Tom Denham, a, a, another great UK heavyweight prospect. But this was a fight that didn't look like it was going to happen. You were originally f supposed to face Paul Taylor. When that fight was called off, did the world kind of drop away from you? I was pretty upset, to be honest. I was, uh, I was angry, really upset, and I spent a whole day just moping around. I didn't, I basically, I didn't eat for a whole day a day before the weigh-ins and I, um, so I weighed in super light I've worked hard to put on weight to be a bigger heavyweight and then I weighed in I was only four pounds heavier than I was last time when I'm actually probably tonight I was probably four or five pounds heavier than that so it was all right but when I got the call I was mentally I was I was all over the shop and I was like oh, I've got to take it I've worked too hard not to yeah. Denham comes in with a, you know, his hand speed is is, is well documented and, and his power. I think he, I think he displayed a little bit of it in the first round. How close, you know, how 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 hurt were you? Was it a, was it as bad as it kind of looked on the screen? Um, I was hurt. Yeah, I was hurt. Like it wasn't like I didn't go out at all. But it's sometimes when they hit you like behind the slightly behind the ear, you kind of lose your your balance. And I, I, you know, he dropped me fair and square. You know, he's a big big guy. He hits hard, um, as it, as his record attests. Um, but I, I, I was I was aware of it. I mean, you can see I'm defending intelligent. I'm killing, stopping his ground and pound. I didn't want to rush to get up because, you know, I just I just been knocked down. There's no point rushing to get up to, into into the in, in, back into the buzzsaw. You know, when you <laughs> when you just run into it once. So I just you know take my time. I come on strong at the end of the first round. I and you know as soon as you as soon as I smell blood. I'm I'm on it then, and you know I come out the second round, dropped him with the uppercut, and then you know just patient, patient. I kind of did that on the back foot, so I couldn't chase him down. And then I just come, found it, waited for the time. Hey, we were speaking a second ago off camera. You were saying you know slow starter is is it doesn't seem to be an issue at the moment though. It just seems like it fires you up and and, and you get the finish. That's two big two prospects yeah. that are at the, you know at the top of the food chain in the heavyweight division. You've knocked off back to back. What's next? Um, do we defend it or do we go looking for the... At the moment I'm, I'm with Bama now for, um, I've got um, at least two more fighters with Bama and we'll see, you know, they've looked after me so far, um, given me opportunities. So I don't know, we've got to kind of see what happens with it. Um, there's one big name out there who, you know, is a good friend of mine, Mark Godbeer, who I might have to fight, I might not, he might be heading to, you know, greener pastures, but so to speak, we don't really know. But um, it's exciting, there's a lot of opportunities now. Are you the champion? And I know you got the. Are you the champion now? Are you only? Are you only the champion after you've defended? What's? Uh, how do you feel about it? That's a tough question um, to ask when you've just got it, isn't I've, it? I've got this round my way. So I'm. I'm. You know. I'm the. I don't know. Like I feel like Mark is still a champion. I don't know. Because they were saying interim belt, but then they announced now, it as Lons the actual the belt. See, so I, d I don't really Lonsdale, know. The, it's the equivalent of the Lonsdale title that you're holding there now. I'm not sure what that means. It's so he's sort of Mark got a world UK, title. Yes, the, oh, the okay, world title. Sense, of, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, like we'll see what happens. Um, it's difficult to know. I'm, I'm 20 minutes away from, yeah. you know, having a fight, and I'm, I'm not the guy who just goes out shouting my mouth off at everyone, like especially not friends and. How's the? How, let's talk about this performance then. You know, g give yourself a mark out of ten. How pleased are you with what you got done there tonight? Not great. Not great. It was all right. You know, the finish was good, but there's no need for me to to, to get there. You know, nothing changed in the second round apart from I started fighting. You know, the first round I was just like I was kind of watching a bit too long, and then I actually started fighting. And then every punch I'm throwing, apart from the odd winging right hook, I'm landing most of what I what I throw. You know, I'm I'm very accurate. Like I'm faster than a lot of heavy I don't try and knock out people. I try and hit them, and I know I, I will knock out people as a result. Well, I, I don't think it's fair to say prospect anymore. I think it's now Stuart Austin. You've arrived, and I'm going to end that on that's the bottom line, because Mr. Austin said so. <laughs> Congratulations.